so good, guys. Kele Vele, mm. do it. Fried plantains, delicious. The chicken's like super tender. This mm. is definitely a win. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Shay, and we're Dinner National. Today, we're cooking food from Ghana. By the way, welcome to our new apartment. Today, we will be cooking a famous Ghanaian dish called chicken groundnut soup. And I'm gonna be making the classic jollof rice. It's a Ghanaian favorite for sure. And then I'm also gonna be making kele vele, which is a fried plantain. Really, really tasty, guys. We're really excited about Ghanaian food. We've not eaten a lot of it, but whatever we've eaten, we've really enjoyed. Let's get started. Groundnut soup. Now, this is a dish that's popular all over West Africa, and there are some slightly different regional variations. But then the common theme seems to be the same. Creamy peanut butter, typically it's made fresh, but we're just using a store-bought peanut butter instead. So this peanut butter is actually stewed with like a tomato paste, and then you add all these spices, and then add the chicken, and then it's like a slow braise. It's a really tasty dish that's like celebrated all across West Africa, and it's also quite popular in other regions. All right, my Dutch oven is going at medium-high heat. I've just got some oil over here. Onions go in. I just blended it up in the food processor. This is the habanero pepper that I kind of diced up. The ginger goes in, and so does the garlic. See how pretty. So just give everything a quick stir. So from what I understand, uh, it's quite typical to use palm oil in this recipe for frying. I'm just using like regular olive oil because palm oil can be a little bit difficult to find. Onions have been sauteing for about five minutes. I'm going to add some salt. This is like a teaspoon and a half of salt, about half a teaspoon of uh, pepper. I've also got some tomato paste here, just for some extra flavor. We are adding uh, crushed tomatoes, but then uh, this tomato paste is actually a little bit more concentrated than regular tomatoes. So it gives you that slow simmered goodness. Two bay leaves go in. I just added two because these are kind of small. And this is a teaspoon and a half of uh, chicken bouillon, about one cup of water. So I'm just gonna let this go for like about five more minutes. I have half a cup of peanut butter. Like I said, uh, it's traditional to grind up your own peanuts, but I have peanut butter lying around. This is just your standard thing that comes in a container, the smooth kind. I'm just gonna stir this real nice and blend it into like a mmm, mmm. Mm very fragrant base of our soup. I don't know why they call this a soup, because it's not really a soup, it's more of a stew. But the recipe is called groundnut soup. And uh, okay, so the rest of the peanut butter goes in. And I have some crushed tomatoes. If you don't have crushed tomatoes, just crush your own tomatoes, blend it. I just got this out of a can. If you have fresh one, use fresh. Mix everything really well together. All right, so I'm gonna add the chicken drumsticks in. So these are just six drumsticks that I have. Uh, feel free to use chicken legs or whole chicken, whatever you like. And if I were cooking this by myself, I'd probably brown the chicken a little bit, but this is more like a stew. So I'll give, the, give everything a nice stir, make sure that my chicken is submerged in the tasty juices. And I'm gonna turn this to the lowest possible setting and cook it for 45 minutes. See you in 45. All right, we are gonna get started with our jollof rice. Jollof rice is kind of a spicy rice that's popular all over West Africa, places like Nigeria or Senegal, but we decided to do this for our Ghana episode. We're really excited about it, and yeah, let's see how it turns out. So the first step is we're gonna blend our onions. This is one medium yellow onion. I'm gonna put it into this food processor. And now we have one habanero pepper, very spicy. Plop that in there whole. Seeds and all. We've got a dirty food processor because we use this for the chicken stew. <laughs> oh no, it locked me out. Okay, so I have some ghee heating over medium-high heat, and I'm gonna add our onion and habanero mixture in there and cook for about 10 minutes. Kinda get it brown and soft. Cook it a little bit. 
Our onion mixture has been cooking for about 10 minutes. It's getting brown and soft. I'm going to add one cup of tomato puree. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of tomato paste. I need a smaller spoon. Going in the pot. Give it a nice stir. This is one and a half tablespoons of better than bouillon. If you have bouillon powder, just use that. You know, throw two cubes in or... Okay, so this is one tablespoon of thyme, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ginger, and this is one teaspoon of your standard curry powder. And just to be fancy, we're gonna grate a little bit of nutmeg in there with this very dangerous tool that I really like to use. Not too much, just to get a little flavor, right? And one stick of cinnamon. You can fish that out later. So give this a good mix, cook it all for 20 minutes. You really wanna cook this for a long time before adding your rice, or else you're gonna have this like raw, tomatoey flavor. So give this some time, guys, be patient. Okay, so as you can see, this is kind of drying out. The water has evaporated. It is time to add our rice. Okay, this is... Hold on, sorry. And this is one cup of water. And make sure to incorporate everything. Not incorporate, but mix it together. Don't forget your vegetables. We're adding one cup of frozen vegetables into the mixture. These are peas and carrots. So we're gonna cover this and cook it for at least 30 minutes or until all the water has been absorbed. Hey guys, so if it's been 45 minutes, don't forget to check on your stew. These are just the finishing touches. We are almost done. I'm going to fry up these plantains, but first I'm gonna to toss them in some tasty spices. I've cut them into pretty thin rings. We've made these before and we cut them a little bit thicker and they were good, they were good, but we kind of want to try a crispy variety this time. I've got here a half a teaspoon of ginger. This is half a teaspoon of garlic powder and this is half a teaspoon of cayenne. You can skip this if you don't like it spicy, but you should probably just use it. Okay, and another little bit of nutmeg and kind of toss these around. The plantains we got are really black. Like you want them to be pretty ripe, kind of like when you're making a banana bread so that it's sweeter and softer, makes the spices stick really nicely and makes for an interesting coating when you fry it. I've heated my oil to about 350 degrees and once this reaches temp, I will start frying. Right, as you can see, some of these are quite ready to be flipped. More the ones in the middle, yeah. And cook these for six to 10 minutes total. Ghana. Okay, let's try some Ghanaian food. Jollof rice. I'm starting with the plantains. So good guys, Kele Bele, mm. do it. Fried plantains, delicious. So we waited around for some time, uh, trying to get pictures and everything. But honestly guys, these were super crispy. They're still kind of crispy. The rice is so delicious. Don't skip the habanero. It is spicy, but you know, the rice really mellows it out. And it's just this nice fruity flavor. I really like it. Yeah, and it really works with the tomato and the chicken. The chicken's like super tender. I really feel mm. like this is the perfect way to make chicken. Like on a low temperature, keep raising it. So it just falls off of the bone and it's just super tender. Yeah, this is a win. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a win. I really, really like it. I don't know. I feel like I've waited too long to appreciate food from Ghana. This was really tasty. Wow. Guys. Try it. See you all next week.